There is no doubt that the smallest equines have endless amounts of cuteness, but when we put the mini horse versus Shetland pony together what are the differences? One common mistake is that all tiny horses are the same breed. But besides having small statures, they each have their own unique characteristics. Let's take a look at the mini horse versus the Shetland pony, so next time you come across one, you can easily know what breed it is. Shetland pony versus miniature horse. Most people assume that any equine shorter than 14.2 hands is a pony. In most cases, this is a correct observation. However, some breeds that stand below 14.2 hands are actually not pony at all but a horse. We know that it is a little hard to wrap your head around, but to make it easier, think about the characteristics of the animal in front of you. You see, it is not the only height that determines if an equine is a horse or pony but also its characteristics. Shetland Pony The Shetland Pony is one of the smallest breeds. It is also popular in many countries around the world. Shetland Ponies hail from the Shetland Isles, a remote group of islands located northeast of the top of Scotland. The land and climate here are harsh, which heavily influenced the evolution of the Shetland Pony. This breed is extremely hardy, strong, and intelligent, all characteristics necessary for its long survival on these islands. Miniature Horse The miniature horse is what its name implies, a horse. In fact, this breed is shorter than a Shetland, confusing, we know. Miniature horses originate in Europe and first come into popularity in the 17th century. Their first purpose was as pets for the upper classes. This role was pretty cushy for the mini horse. As prized pets, they were no doubt treated very well. Unfortunately, their fortunes changed when children were no longer allowed to work in mines. When this happened, the miniature horse has pulled away from its life of luxury to replace the work of children. Shetland Pony vs. Mini Horse There are several differences between the Shetland Pony and the mini horse. Here we will cover the characteristics of each breed so you can see how they differ. After this, you won't have trouble recognizing each type. Shetland Pony Characteristics The Shetland Pony is the descendant of small ponies that lived on the Shetland Isles more than 2,000 years ago. When the Vikings arrived, they brought their own horses, which crossed with these ancient ponies, and then Celtic ponies. The result of this crossing is the Shetland. After this, the Shetland Pony remains relatively isolated without the influence of other horse types. Food for the ponies on the islands is scarce during the long, wet, harsh winters. The strongest and most intelligent ponies survived. This leaves us with a very hardy pony that does not need a huge amount of food for its well-being. The Shetland grows a very thick coat in the winter that helps to keep them warm and dry. They have compact, stout bodies with thick necks and strong hindquarters. The mane and tail of the Shetland are very thick, adding another layer of protection. A Shetland has an attractive head with very small ears, surely another necessary evolution to ensure the ears did not succumb to the weather. Due to evolving need for resourcefulness, the Shetland pony is very intelligent. They have good temperaments but can have an independent streak. This brings out a stubborn side, as sometimes they just want to do what they please. They are also master escape artists. To manage this, the Shetland needs good, regular training, and it is not always the best pony for a first-timer. The average Shetland pony stands between 28 to 72 inches at the wither. Mini Horse Characteristics A mini horse is essentially a regular-size horse in miniature. The purpose of creating this breed was to have a tiny version of a horse with the same proportions. They have more refined features and a build that looks like a horse. The breed has a reputation for a kind, friendly temperament, which is one reason they are popular pets. They come in every coat color from Bay to Pinto to Appaloosa. On average, the mini horse stands 34 to 28 inches tall at the wither. Mini Horse Health Problems the miniature horse is unfortunately prone to some serious health issues. One of the most common and serious is dwarfism. Dwarf minis are of course cute, but they encounter problems that can require long-term and expensive care. 
Dwarf mini horses are smaller than those born without them. They can have deformities to their jaws, back, and legs. Quick intervention is necessary for a dwarf miniature horse so that it can live a long, comfortable life. Miniature Shetland The Miniature Shetland is basically a category that some add to the mini breed. This is a sometimes necessary distinction if you plan on showing your mini horses. The main and only real difference between a regular and miniature Shetland is height. To count as a miniature, the pony must stand below 34 inches at the wither. The main difference in the mini horse versus Shetland pony comparison is the features. Miniature horses have all the features and refinement of a full-size horse, while the Shetland has everything you'd expect to see in a pony. Both breeds are prone to obesity and need carefully managed diets, so they don't succumb to laminitis or other health problems. Both breeds are small, but the Mini is not all tall and finer built. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.